During the 1850s, from the port of Galveston to Kerrville in the west, the sounds of growth could be heard in German towns. The hum of lumber mills, the clanking of coins as German goods changed hands in San Antonio and Austin, and the creaking of wagon wheels carting German-grown crops across the state. And then, in 1861, the Civil War exploded, driving a wedge between the German immigrants and other Texans. Most Germans opposed slavery and supported the Union, igniting a backlash. Many Germans who refused to join the Confederate Army were lynched. Some Germans, fearing violence, fled to northern states or south to Mexico. And suddenly, like a faucet turning off, German immigration to Texas stopped. Four years later, the Civil War ended, leaving the Texas economy in shambles. But with the threat of violence now gone, ships full of German immigrants began arriving at the Galveston wharves. More than 40,000 Germans would settle in Texas between 1865 and the early 1890s, helping to revive a devastated state. Railroad companies sent agents to Germany to sell all-inclusive packages to prospective settlers. In one fell swoop, you could buy your transportation and your land in Texas. You showed up and your land would be waiting for you. By the turn of the century, Germans were settling even the most remote parts of the state, like West Texas and the Panhandle. And German Texans influenced every facet of public life, from million acre ranches, to hospital operating rooms, to the state capital. Seven decades earlier, Detlef Jort had written that one day, a little Germania will arise in Texas. And now, Jort's vision was a reality. 